Good morning, my beautiful friends. How are you guys? Today is a beautiful day. It has just been so nice this week. It's going to be 15 degrees today. Um, I'm so excited. I just woke up so happy. I have the day off, surprise day off, uh, which is nice. Um, we are going to do start some of our seeds today. I went and bought a whole bunch of seeds. There's some of them chilling on the table. I was organizing them this morning. Um, but first I need to clean my house because it's just really messy. We were really busy yesterday and it's just, it just shows in the house. Let me just give you some real, real time. Does anybody else with boys have a weapons pile somewhere in their house on the floor or something all the time? Constantly like, Hey, can you move your weapons? That's seed because we have to reseed the grass. Um, oh my God garden starter stuff messy kitchen recycling building up i've got a bunch of stuff i have to stick on the front porch but i need some command strips we it's actually a very exciting exciting weekend um the kids are outside playing because it's gorgeous we moved hold on i'm trying to adjust this camera one second we moved the pots that i um grabbed from the old house to the back deck so they're in the sun. I didn't want them to stay in the garage, obviously, because a lot of those plants will come back and then I can transplant them. Um, I'm just like finalizing the garden plans and I'm so stoked. Like you have no idea how excited I am to just get my hands in the dirt and just make all the beautiful garden things. It's, it's my jam. I love it. Um, I'm hunting down some rare plant variations for herbs and medicinal uses still. Um, and that's been exciting. So we're basically just getting everything ready to make an outdoor oasis in our new build. I just like, I want to just make nature explode in our yard this year. Got some sunflowers. Going to plant, plant some sunflowers along the fence line, I think. Just one for some privacy, but two because they're beautiful. Um, Lots of fun plans, but also this weekend is the spring equinox. First day of spring is tomorrow, today's Friday. Um, and for our family, that means it's Ostara. So that is when we celebrate I, Easter, but we don't celebrate Easter, we celebrate on the spring equinox. So tomorrow is when we do all of, all of our bunny stuff. Um, so that's exciting. I've got the kids' baskets out and I went and did a couple of shopping bits. Maybe I will film a What's in My Kids Easter Baskets so you guys can use that for, I think we're a couple weeks out for the typical Easter holiday still. I think it's what, the first weekend of April this year or the second, I don't know. Anyway, um, so it's a very exciting time around here. I need to clean up before I can start my seeds. Try not to get ahead of myself. As you can tell, I'm very excited because I'm tumbling over my words. But I need to just get the floor cleaned because it's gross. The kids had like hamster horse. I don't know. They built like a hamster town on the main floor last night to play with their hamster at night. So I need to vacuum. Um, but lots of fun things happening and I just want to bring you guys along. So I'm going to vlog more, much more. I hope you guys are ready for more vlogs. Um, I will definitely be filming tomorrow. Mackenzie has a surprise coming. We are buying her a new bike and Cody's going to just bring it home this afternoon. Um, cause it's about that time. Grayson got a new bike for his birthday. Mackenzie has like a town bike. One of those, what is the brand? Huffy or something like that. I don't know. Har Har not Harley. It's like something... Um, but like one of those like wide handlebar town bikes, but she is, it still fits her, but she's a tall girl. She was talking about how she would like a mountain bike so that she could, you know, keep up with everybody else and go on. Because we go on like more extensive, long bike rides. We take our bikes camping, we get, take them on hikes, we take them on trips. Um, and mountain bikes are just a little easier with all the gear. So we're going to surprise her with a brand new uh, black and purple mountain bike today, so that's exciting. Um, and mostly, I'm just trying to figure out what I want to do to line, use as edging for my gardens. That's my biggest brain puzzler right now. I haven't decided what I want to use for the edging of the garden and then for around the trees. Like, we have some little baby trees and I want to um, do like wildflowers around them. Maybe I'll do a vlog talking about garden stuff so I don't bore anybody who doesn't care. Although, if you're here, you probably 
somewhat enjoy watching garden content because it's a lot of what I do in the summer months and the spring. So anyway, there's just a lot going on and I'm just super stoked to be alive today. It's an awesome day. <laughs> I'm gonna clean up first so I don't get ahead of myself, um, do some pre-cleaning and then I also have some bits of moving around and shuffling to do because my apothecary is taking over the closet like I had apothecary and homeschool on like apothecary on one side and homeschool stuff on the other and it needs to just be all apothecary now so I have to find a home for the homeschool things so that's on the list today as well so I figured I would start the vlog and say hello and now I'll stop talking at you guys so I can actually show you things but I'm gonna do a quick like tidy and vacuum and clean up the kitchen a little bit so let's go quick lunch break having a tuna sandwich some cucumbers, bubble water. The kids are eating on the deck on their picnic table. It's a beautiful day. I vacuum, I have to clean the kitchen. I tend to get, forget to eat on busy days, so made sure I sat down to eat some lunch. Oh, hey, look. Oh, hey. That's your new bike. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? It's so big. It's purple. I can't sit on I have to lower the seat. Yeah, we have to lower the seat. The seat what do you think, Em? It's so cool. Do you like it purple? <laughs> we saw it last night. We thought this was the perfect bike for Mackenzie. Look, badass mountain bike. Look at the cool. shocks and everything on it. Do you like it that it's purple? Are you surprised? Yeah. <laughs> Here, that's it. Couldn't drive. Much better. Here's a little after. Well, you know, still haven't put the remotes away, but. And I have to deal with this, but this is all like stuff I have to bring up to my room. That's my planner. This needs to go into the apothecary. My to do list for today. You know. But it's much. And I have to do the recycling still. But hey, there's not dishes everywhere. The dishes are dealt with, and the counters are clean. So, you know what? That's what counts. Right now, I'm going to go put up. Um, the front porch decor. I needed a bit of yarn, so we've got, I got this cute little pot from the dollar store to like go on the chair maybe with some flowers in it. And I got that sun and I got this little like bird wind chime set because I think it kind of goes with the, the little home sweet home thing. So I'm gonna go play around with that in the front and see what it looks like. I just needed some string and I found some. Just a bit for now, probably. Not all the way. Just in case they go moldy or something if we don't get birds right. Okay, so Amazon just came in and I wanted to show you guys this because it's crazy. I We needed a hose. There was no hose at this house? Like they took the hose? <laughs> Weird, but anyway, I don't know if that's like normal, but I've never had that happen before So it was like a funny thing. Anyway, we needed this new hose and so I ordered one on Amazon because a friend of mine has one from Amazon and they're like these they're non-plastic They're like these like cord Stuff, but they're super stretchy um, Apparently they're really really good ho hoses. They have no memory they won't stretch out. They'll always like recoil and, and go back to this small, nice little hose. And because this hose is only, this is how big the hose is, but it's 25 feet long. So when it stretches out, when, in, when you turn the water on. Um, anyway, I needed a new hose. My friend has one like this and said she really loves it. And I've seen a few other people that have these that love them. Like cool, I'll order a hose. And it's, it ended up being like super sale. So I got this was for $17. I only paid $17 and it came with the thing to mount it. And it also came with a really good, um, like totally metal sprayer. I don't know. Um, but we're about to put seed in. So we needed a new hose. <sighs> anyway, I thought it was a cool hose. Like I just love the, see how like, see how much it can stretch? Look at that. That's awesome. Super excited. It's just so fun. I've never seen a hose like this before. I like it. I like it a lot. Okay. Anyway, I just wanted to, wanted to show you my hose. Um, if you guys want me to link the hose, I don't know if it's still on sale. 
or if it's just a Canadian thing, but I will link it in the description below for you. Spud delivery, oh, this is totally crooked, hold on. Okay, there we go. Spud delivery just arrived. Let's see what we ordered, because I can't remember. Got some kale. Yeah. And oh, ginger, I forgot I got ginger. It was on kale. Okay, so some delicious kale and some ginger. Some coffee cream. This is the brand, I love it. It's Rock Ridge. If you're local, it's where it's at. Every now and then, I fall apart. No, <laughs> I get some chocolate milk because, yum. Take the kombucha. Okay, I got, this is, I love this brand of kombucha. It's local, live culture tea. I got root beer. I got blueberry rooibos. And I got vanilla chai. So stoked to crack into one of those tonight. Yum. We got some Amy's alphabet soup. We got some Amy's minestrone soup. I love Amy's minestrone soup so much. Oh yeah, I ordered myself a margarita pizza. Forgot about that. And then some grass-fed stew beef. Just a little bit of things. Finally taking a break. I don't think I said what we just did for like two hours. Um, but we're gonna plant seeds tomorrow. It's a great Ostara activity anyway. Um, but we just cleaned out the entire bird cage. I took an opportunity and I seized it because he was training well um, and we needed to take him out of the cage. So he's never been, um, I don't think I've really talked too much about Blue's past, um, but he's never been trained. He's never been like handheld. Um, a lot of people don't know that budgies are parrots. Um, so they need the same stimulation as a large parrot. They, <laughs> there he goes, he's so happy now. Um, so we've been doing training sessions. Bird Tricks on YouTube is one of my favorite resources for um, training birds and having free flight birds. We managed to be able to, we can touch him now and I was petting him today and he was cool with that. Like that's a huge leaps and bounds improvement. Um, we're still working on stepping up. So that's when they like come and perch on your finger. Eventually we'll have it so we can be like blue step up and he'll fly to us and perch on our finger and be able to like follow commands. So we're just starting with the very basic baby steps and it was going really well. So we took that opportunity to clean the cage. Um, so it was just a bit of a craziness that I didn't want to film because I just had to get it done as fast as I could. <laughs> um, so while we were cleaning his cage, he chilled out in the bathroom. That's his like safe zone where he's been having like some little free flight sessions. So we'll take him to the bathroom and have his cage open so he can get used to being on top of his cage and outside of his cage because he's completely cage bound. He's never been outside of his cage. So that was a bit of an event. Had a very productive day though because we brought the pots out to the deck today and we were going through all that and the kids and I have just been doing lots of little bits here and there. Decorated the front porch. I'm drinking this vanilla chai kombucha which is so yummy. And we're doing a super easy dinner. I popped an Amy's pizza that I just got from Spud in the um, oven. And I'm putting that with some asparagus that I got. And that's gonna be dinner tonight. Um, Cody already ate at work, so we're going to eat really quickly. And then I think him and I are gonna go sneak off to grab a couple more bits for tomorrow. And I think we're also going to go to Home Depot to go, I think we figured out what we want to do for garden edging. And he was talking about wanting to go to Home Depot. So I think we're just gonna go do a couple more errands. We have to go to the grocery store too. Never ends, <laughs> it's busy now that spring is here. But yeah, this is delicious. You're all caught up now. Now we're just taking a second. I'm tired after cleaning the birdcage, it's stressful. <laughs> I figured I would throw a load of laundry in because when does the laundry ever end? It never ends. That was a trick question. <laughs> Let this run while Cody and I head out to the store. One load down. Some raspberries, some mint, adding to my sparkle water today. Yum.
Good morning, everyone. It's the next day. Um, last night, Cody and I went, what did we do last? Oh, we went out and went and did shopping and everything, and then I didn't film anymore. Um, and yesterday I mentioned that we were doing, um, our, like, Equinox celebrations for Astara, basically our version of Easter, because we celebrate, like, the Celtic original Easter date, stuff like that. Um, which is today, today is the equinox, but the equinox actually lasts, like some people celebrate the day before, some people celebrate the day on, some people celebrate the day after. So it's technically like based on the, the moon and not <laughs> the actual day um, because the equinox began at like three in the morning last night or this morning. So regardless, we decided to push it one day till tomorrow, till Sunday because Cody, works every Saturday and um, it was just going to be a little too tight and we wanted the things we want to do it was just getting harder to figure out how we were going to make it work with around Cody's work schedule so we decided to just push it a day we should have done that originally but whatever live and learn the kids were fine with it and they understood cause it's only one day so today we're going to spend the day seating and I thought I would just continue the vlog and make this a, a longer vlog and then I'll give you guys a vlog for and tomorrow when we are celebrating the kids wake up to their Easter baskets and everything like that. So I thought I would just continue and we'd have yeah, a nice long vlog. Sounds good today. So we're going to hang some, hang some birdhouses. We're going to plant some of our seeds. We are gardening zone 3B where I am located. So uh, <laughs> it's cold here. Um, I'm only able to start a few indoors. I'm going to... I'm going to start whatever I can maintain indoors because it's so sunny and warm in my house. Especially just, I have like south facing windows in the main part of this area where I'm sitting right now. Super hot, like oftentimes, I mean, it's not going to be too long before the air conditioner needs to be turned on. Um, we just get so much beautiful natural light and plants love it in here. So thankfully I've got that on my side. I was considering getting a mini like pop-up greenhouse. I don't know if that's something I'll actually need or not, but Cody and I decided I think what we're going to do for the garden, so I think it's time to go do some shopping for that this weekend, and him and I actually saw a really nice um, patio set that we liked yesterday, and now we're just debating whether or not we want to buy it or like what kind of patio setup we want to go for because we want outside to be just a really cozy space with a fire pit. And we can just hang out there and eat dinner sometimes. We want like a couch seating, I think. Um, because I think we'll be more hanging out, out there than eating out there. I think that's more useful for our needs right now. Um, and I'm just so excited to get outside. It's another beautiful day. I tell you, just this is the best spring weekend ever for the first weekend of spring. And I'm just so excited to be outside and doing things. Putting my hands in the earth and creating and my favorite the favorite favorite thing so um just hydrating making myself a little bit of a fancy water I've got new neighbors moving in across the street or at least moving out and i don't know what's going on so that's exciting there's always new neighbors in this neighborhood it seems because we're in the new build so exciting spring things happening oh i was gonna i'm going to dehydrate some strawberries today so i've got all of my Got some strawberries waiting and I'm just, I rinsed off the dehydrator because it's been a little bit since I've used it. So going to do that for some for the apothecary purposes, some just for snacks because dehydrated strawberries are delicious and I might do some blueberries overnight. So if you hear any whirring in the background from like a little bit of a fan from this point on in the vlog, just know, sorry, it's the dehydrator going. <laughs> um, yeah, that's the plan today. And then, of course, tonight we get to decorate and put the kids' baskets together.
go. So there are two, there's two pounds of strawberries in there. So every rack is full. Ooh. We'll turn this on and we'll have a lovely batch of dehydrated strawberries in no time. Alrighty, we have lots of seeds started. Lots and lots. And then we'll start more um, in a couple weeks. And I still have to buy a couple. So I'll probably go tonight or tomorrow and buy the rest of the seeds that I need. But for now, we are done our planting for today. We did a good job, hey? Got lots. Mm -hmm. Lots and lots of seeds. So hopefully we have a great garden year. Here's hoping. I still haven't decided if I want a greenhouse or not. I don't know. Like a pop up one. I'm not sure. I want boy. Now y'all be chocolate. So we ate dinner. I just finished cleaning up after dinner. And Cody is home now. So he ate dinner. And now we're gonna, him and I are gonna go walk the dog. Because we've started walking Carly. In the evenings, right? Sometimes I walk her in the afternoon. Whoa, and what I... up, dude? Hey. It's a beautiful day. Yeah. You need to walk. Because I've been planting all day and I haven't taken her for a walk yet, so. And Cody got home from a long garbage day at work, so I'm going for a walk too, I guess. He had a bad day at work, so we're getting fresh air. Did you get me my socks? Nope, I forgot. Can you? Yep. Thank you. So tonight, since we are celebrating Astara tomorrow and the Equinox, we're going to um, do all of the bunny things tonight. We're gonna fill Easter baskets and put things up for the kids, so that will be very exciting. Um, yeah, so it's, we're just, it's this kind of wind down time. Dinner is over, the kids are just chilling. We're gonna walk the dogs and then put the kids to bed pretty much, and then I'll see you when we are getting everything ready for tomorrow. So this is one of our training sessions with Blue. I'm getting him used to being on my hand. He's very happy now. But this is huge progress. He wouldn't even touch my skin before. Now oh, he's fully on my hand, eating his dinner. I was gonna maybe film a, lots of my kids at Easter baskets, but I've decided against it. So I'm just gonna show you us filling things and show you now. So these are the baskets. There's Mackenzie's. Bubbles, a big puzzle book, stickers, 
little chick, like pee pee chick, a net, just like really simple stuff. And then we are just like little goodies in there. And then we're filling. That's not how every egg gets filled. These are the golden eggs. Shiny, wonderful, lovely things. Now in these ones, do I do more Skittles or do I do more of the shiny eggs? Because I'll get a bunch of chocolate here, but yeah. I only get one egg worth of Skittles. No, because we're gonna put like little bits of Skittles and stuff in all the mini eggs. Oh, okay. Yeah, hold on. I'm just gonna set you guys up so you can watch us. These baskets have hemp grass in them, is it? That's fun. Let me explain how we do it. So they get their Easter basket. And then they empty their Easter basket out and use their Easter basket to hunt. And then at the very end, there will be like a clue in the bottom of their Easter basket or something that leads them to like the jackpot. And so they'll each get a giant Kinder Surprise. A and mega egg. like super eggs. Like a couple of these each. Oh, this one's leaking. Oh, it's leaking sh sour. Yeah. Because those ones are sour Skittles. Um, and that will be their like, woo -hoo. And we're also giving them like a see the little like. Oh, it broke my I saw it out of the bag like that. It just broke in the bag. Pretty funny, bro. You'll have to excuse the loud, annoying noise. That's the dehydrator. They know. Rainbow is making strawberries. They saw that too. Double up. Mm, mm. Well, already found a use for your big dumb baskets. Haven't you, Rainbow? Yeah. Sure have. Come on. Come on there, bud. Oh, yeah, bud. Sometimes we like to get real Canadian with each other. So the. Whoa, what happened to my voice? Hello? You have a throat bubble. I have a throat bubble. Don't cough. Keep talking. What should I say? Something sexy. Daddy. Yeah. Cough. <laughs> Cough. <laughs> I don't like it. I don't like it. No. <laughs> don't do these ones, dude. Unfortunately, because you're vlogging right now, I can't do what I want to do. Yeah, he wants to do something inappropriate. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Stop it. I want to edit this out. Um, okay, don't fill these ones yet. They're big. No, I know. No biggies. Just the littles. Oh, there's little ones. Oh yeah, there's the little oh, ones. Okay, do you want to just get us two and some of them? Yep, yeah, I'm just doing some caramel eggs first. Yeah. Some loose bun buns? Lucy buns. <laughs> I've got loose buns. Questionable. Oh, now you're gonna have to go get that. I'll get to it. That was definitely a yard one. Yeah, that was like, definitely a yard. That was one. like one a war, one from a warm Easter because we recycle our eggs every year. We've used these same eggs like five years. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Are you allowed to say that these days? Yeah. Yeah. I think so. Am I gonna get canceled? <laughs> oh no. I'm not putting this I in had here. so much. <laughs> I had so much potential. <laughs> And now I'm canceled. <laughs> I'm canceled. No, because I don't want like cancel culture is garbage, but also so is like so many other things. You're yeah. just saying yes. Yeah, but is that like making fun of gay people? No, I love gays. I love the gays. That's from um, <laughs> um my favorite Christmas movie. Oh. Was done. Yeah. I don't think so. It's like because it's not just a gay people thing. Like, when I think of someone no, going, it yeah. It's very typically it became a thing. Well, I, I think of, like... Because it's the ass queen. Yeah, ass queen. But I think of it, like, um, more like RuPaul's, like, the, the fabulous drags. Yeah. Which aren't always gay. True. It's a weird world. They're just trying not to hurt anybody's feelings. Yeah. So please don't want to give them too much candy. These are a lot of eggs. I mean, they're going to get too much candy. We just have to teach them to not eat it all. We have to teach, teach Grayson. Some... Moderation, my dudes. Well, yeah, because so last time they fucking threw up everywhere because they were like, candy bread. <laughs> no, it was a movie night. Okay, so we had a movie night. We watched. Finn, are you okay? You're coughing. Um, Freaking dog coughs. We watched yesterday. 
last weekend for family movie night and we were like oh we'll make this so fun because you know it's yes day the movie if you haven't seen that on netflix um and we were like yeah we'll like get treats we made popcorn cody bought like chocolate for the kids just like a little bit of chocolate each brought home a slurpee and they had a slurpee a small slurpee and chocolate and popcorn each and they ended up that is when the uh, food poisoning hit we had that dinner earlier that night so about four hours earlier we had eaten the poison and poison. right after uh watching yesterday is when they hit Grayson and we thought he had just eaten too much sweets for some like he's not our kids don't eat a lot of sweets despite seeing all this they'll spread this out for ages like Mackenzie will be eating this chocolate oh, I would destroy months. this in a day um so we originally we thought that they just couldn't handle their sugar and that's what happened but but no it was poison I poisoned us with potatoes. Poison potatoes. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, go watch the last vlog. No, two vlogs ago. Two vlogs ago. Go watch two vlogs ago. I don't keep track of your vlogs, so it could have been the last vlog. I don't know. He's such a supportive YouTube... You're, you're not doing this Instagram husband, YouTube husband thing, right? No. Ah, I can't. I know, some of them have just been... Some of these eggs are getting too old. I'm pretty sure it's in the title of the vlog I'm talking about. So have you talked about like our... Ew, it's an old jelly bean. I'm gonna just eat it. <laughs> no. Do it. Because I'm six years old. Do it, coward. <laughs> you do it. No, I hate jelly beans. That's a speckle one. That could be like baby parts. Like... We don't buy the grossies. I think we did one. Like... No, we just have the, that game. Oh my god. What if we put bean boozled beans in here? <laughs> they would never trust us again. <laughs> could you imagine if we do put it. bean boozled beans? Do it. They're gonna fart. We have played that game in so long. Yeah, because it's awful. It sucks. I love it. We should play that game night with when all our friends come back. Look, we got this fun game, guys. Here's a bowl of jelly beans. Yeah, no one's that dumb. No, I'll just put out a bowl of jelly beans with all the other snacks. They trust me so much. Yeah, and that's how we don't have any <laughs> friends anymore. Come on, man. I'm gonna turn you off. We're gonna finish through this. What? Finish doing this. Yep. I'll show you our masterpiece when we're done. You don't get to be in here if you're gonna still be like this. <laughs> not doing anything. <laughs> He's just vlog, you know? Just okay. do your vlog, huh? <laughs> Ow! Do your vlog. That's rough. Look at abuse. Oh my god. In the comments, gonna be like, Cody, I saw Cody abusing Rainbow. There's this YouTuber named oh, Cody. Oh, as soon as that camera turns off, I'm gonna beat you so hard. <laughs> <laughs> You'd lose. I know, I would. <laughs> Okay, anyway, we're done now. We're having a good old goofy time. Having a good old time. Um, no, nobody's been drinking, surprisingly. That's just us. I know, right? This is Grayson's. Pay attention to me. No, you're a child. Pay attention to me. <laughs> this is Mackenzie's. Yeah. They're both going to get this little game. And then this is her, like, golden pile that will be hidden somewhere. This is his golden pile that will be hidden somewhere. And then we filled all these eggs to go hide throughout the house. And it turns out I just bought a giant Easter basket. <laughs> the other day. This is awesome. Carly, you already ate dinner. Stop it. Perfect. Carly's on a diet. And it's going about as well as her whining at us after she's already eaten dinner. <laughs> Woo, that's so low. Good enough, man. <laughs> Alright, you guys, we're done. So I'll show you what it looks like. Got the kids' baskets waiting for them. And then there are just. Hold on, can you spot any? Eggs hidden everywhere. All the plants. <laughs> All over the place. That's my garbage I have to take out, but. Anyway, um, I'll show you the strawberries. They are almost done. Look at my little dehydrated friends. Um, let's pause this so I can talk to you. No. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna go shower and, like, get ready for bed. It is 10.30 now. We're all done. Ready for the kids to wake up tomorrow. We're gonna spend the day, like, doing yard work, more gardening stuff, hanging out. One wheeling. One wheeling. Biking, probably. 
lots of fun stuff. So I'm going to end the vlog here and I'll pick back up tomorrow. So we'll see you in the next vlog. I hope you are enjoying all of these spring vlogs. I'm really on the ball and I'm proud of myself. So I'm going to try and keep the ball rolling. Um, careful you just knocked that last one off. <laughs> Stop. Okay, guys. Carly, never mind. She wants to say goodbye too. Okay, so we're going to go now. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you have a wonderful week. I don't know when this is going up. Um, can you not? What do you mean? <laughs> um, yeah, and I hope you guys had a beautiful spring equinox. This is how we're celebrating ours. It's been a lovely weekend. So, anyway, I'm going to go deal with this nerd. I love you. Oh, I love you too. <laughs> okay, we'll see you guys in my next one. Bye. Bye.